Hello there. Now, before I begin, I have to admit, I have been a little bit behind on my Halo trivia. I've, I've fallen behind quite disgracefully, in fact. Um, so, what I did was I bought a whole bunch of books um, that I hadn't yet read. I'll show you just a few of them now. Uh, well, when I say a few, this is actually, yeah, all the books I haven't read just yet. There's this one, there is this one, and there's this one. Now, the one that I did read, oh, look, well, at least the one I just finished now, anyway, uh, is this one, Halo Envoy. I have to admit, I wasn't exactly... But I didn't really have a lot of high expectations for um, Halo Envoy, because I read the short story in Fractures, and I wasn't particularly keen on it. It, it, the, the characters, well, the characters in Fractures, at least the series of events of that short story in the novel Fractures, um, just didn't really grip me at all. And when I heard that this was leading on to um, this book here, um, Envoy, I was like, eh, well, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. The other reason why I wasn't exactly jumping for joy to actually read this book was because of Grey Team. Now, I had to really think back to where Grey Team actually originated, because I, I, I knew that the name sounded familiar. And it was Halo the Cold Protocol. And you probably remember from one of my earlier videos that I wasn't exactly a big fan of the earlier Halo novels, because I thought, with the exception of the Eric Nyland books, I thought they were pretty poor, to be honest. Um, and I didn't really think very highly of the Cold Protocol either. But, you know, I gave it a go. Um, I, I, read, I read what was on the back, and it, it did seem to have a bit of an interest in plot. So, you know, let's see how it goes. And I read it, and I must say, I was very, 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 very pleasantly surprised by this book. This book is great. Uh, Grey Team is, I, I, for what little I remember of them in Halo Cold Protocol, um, they are fantastic in this book, so yeah, I, I'm, I am now a fan of Grey Team, needless to say. Uh, the story is set on a world called Caro, and you have a human colony and an elite colony, a, Shang a Sanghili colony, I should say. Uh, well, Sanghili, elite, you know, same name for the same people. Uh, and it, it, it's, it, it's an interesting setup because you've got this uneasy peace between both um, between both communities, and it just completely falls apart. Um, war breaks out. I'm not going to spoil exactly why it breaks out or who was responsible for it, but when as soon as you get started in the novel, it immediately kicks off that um, this fragile peace has just fallen apart completely. And the interesting thing about this novel is that it holds a dark secret. Um, the part of the reason why this war has broken out on Caro is because, well, there is an old, ancient, dark forerunner secret that uh, some brutes want to take advantage of. And I'm not going to tell you what that secret is, but needless to say, when this secret, this forerunner secret, is revealed, I thought it was incredible. Um, and initially, I was thinking, oh, I, 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 I'm not sure if I'm crazy about this, but as soon as it actually got going, uh, I, w I was enjoying every page. And this book, I believe, is set well, a few months after the, after the end of the Human Covenant War. I might be a bit wrong about that, but it's definitely before the events of Halo 5. Uh, one thing you'll notice with these novels is that um, Osman, uh, Admiral Osman, uh, she pretty much has a cameo appearance, I think, in almost all of the novels. And I'm, I'm pleased with that, because she, she was one of my favourite characters in Karen Travis's Kilo 5 uh, trilogy. So I was glad to see um, her make an appearance in this. And needless to say, considering, that, like, 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 like I said, that I've been falling behind on, um, on my Halo trivia, this was a great book to get started on. And I've been deciding which book I should go with next. Between 
like I said, uh, Retribution, Legacy of Onyx, or Smoke and Shadow. What I've noticed with Smoke and Shadow, it seems really, really thin. That's what really surprised me. I mean, it was like, but I think I'm probably going to go with Legacy of Onyx. So here it goes. He does to say, I like the front cover. So, let's see how it goes. But, with regards to Halo Envoy, definitely give it a go. Um, if, if, even if you're just a casual Halo fan, you only play the games, but you've been thinking about getting involved in the novels or the comic book series, perhaps, definitely give Envoy a try. Uh, because I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It had some really compelling characters, it had some great moments, and I hope we do see more of Grey Team. I really do. I mean, as I said, I wasn't particularly a big fan of Grey Team. I had trouble even remembering even who they were. But now that after reading this book, I'm definitely a fan of them. So yeah, if you're a casual Halo fan, definitely give this book a go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.